Second Brain is a concept developed by Tiago Forte, a productivity expert that is well known in the space for bringing together knowledge management. And is it something that you might want to implement in 2025? Well, today we've picked out the best Second Brain apps that you can use to distill all of that insight and bring it into your note-taking system. So welcome, my name is Francesco D'Alessio. Welcome to Tool Finder. If you're new here, hit subscribe. And if you wanna check out all the apps that we mentioned in this video, you can find it linked below with any deals or any recommendations as well, as well as any of Tiago's resources to help you learn the second brain methodology. So for many people, the second brain methodology does boil down to not just a system, but a way of thinking about your knowledge. There are systems within it like code and para that can be incredibly helpful. And we've distilled these apps to help match with code, which is capture, organize, distill and express into the best application that's right for you. And the first one on our list is Notion. And as you can imagine, Notion's grown very much over the last couple of years. And Notion itself has become much more of a powerful way to bring your second brain into play. And there are even some fantastic templates that are gonna save you time building that entire experience, which we will link below. But largely, the concept of code can be implemented quite well with a Notion. You can capture stuff using the web clipper and the variety of share applications that are part of the iOS and Android apps. And you can bring together all of that knowledge into databases with a few different integrations. Now, in terms of organizing stuff, you can build that para projects, areas, resources, and archives methodology into play here. But most importantly, with the new AI features inside of Notion, you can actually begin to distill all of this information to make even more sense asking the AI more questions about what notes you've taken, helping you to understand them collectively. Obviously the Notion AI experience is an additional ability, but if you're somebody that has a second brain and wants to take it a step further, then this new Notion AI can be incredibly helpful to ask questions for that. Finally, the express element. Notion has a brand new feature called Notion Sites, which does allow you to create a digital garden type page and share it publicly with a domain, whether that's free or hooked up to a custom domain. So perfect for expressing those ideas that you're bringing into play with your second brain. So next up is Evernote. And many people are, might have ruled this one out already, but it's actually on a bit of a comeback curve. And it's probably the original second brain. It's much more of a traditional application in a sense, but it's not just gonna be a great place for you to capture ideas and thoughts and bring them into play, but also more recently with tasks and calendar as well to help distill your whole productivity system. More recently, they've been pushing for artificial intelligence abilities like AI with your images, AI with your text and being able to distill information, but also AI powered search for you to scan across your Evernote account. And if you're thinking about Evernote as a second brain, then you may already have five, six, seven years of Evernote experience inside of your account. So being able to unlock that can be incredibly valuable. Whilst Evernote is a little bit more expensive, for that knowledge to come more powerful and more useful, it could be a great base to move to if you're interested in that AI element. Thanks to the company being heavily invested in artificial intelligence abilities, the company being Bending Spoons. So next up is Obsidian, and many people are moving to this application as it's free, local first, and comes with some powerful security features, including end-to-end -end encryption if you're somebody who wants to protect your notes. Now, why is protection of your notes important with Second Brain? Well, a lot of people like the fact that protecting your notes that have deep the thoughts, whether that's journal entries or even insights into how you're working in terms of your projects. And all of that knowledge can be very personal to you and you might not want that to be publicly available. So Obsidian has a local first experience which stores it on device, which is quite helpful. And it comes with a wide range of abilities that many people like for Second Brain, like Graph View, as well as being able to connect up stuff. More recent abilities like Audio Capture, which helps you to bring in some of those notes that you don't want to capture necessarily using a text 
text format. Obsidian also has features like Canvas, which allows you to express ideas visually, and backlinks to help bring them together. And it's much more of a traditional PKM, personal knowledge management application, that is worth considering something for free and reliable as a second brain alternative. So next up is Reflect Notes. And many people like to capture things on Readwise and also Kindle. And Reflect Notes has an integration with both of these experiences. Now, whilst it is a paid application, being priced at around about $10 per user per month at the current pricing, Reflect tries to bring in those security elements that you may be worrying about whilst having a traditional style look application, which is very modern, combined with a PKM style application. So you still get the powers of tags, graph view, and also backlinks, but it has a very much more approachable interface, in my opinion. It connects with Google Calendar and can help bring in stuff from certain sites that you're looking for as well, as well as having a bunch of AI features, not only AI understanding like summarization, but also transcription with your audio as well, which is perfect for capturing maybe your thoughts and ideas. Now, the next one is Mila Note. Now, this is one that was considered by Tiago in a video and it's being looked at on his channel. There's a video up here if you're interested about that, but it's a much more of a creative experience because Milano is more of a canvas view helping you to bring your ideas in one location so if you're a designer or creative and you want to bring all of these concepts together like capturing things organizing them visually, distilling them, and then being able to express them in a public board, Milanote could be a great alternative to you. The next one is Mem. Now, Mem is an application which has had a few bad years. The application itself is a note-taking app which is designed with artificial intelligence, allowing you to communicate with your notes. But more recently, a lot of other applications have actually been doing this, so we can see less of an appeal to it largely. But as a second brain, it's a really interesting one, thanks to the MEM uh, features on the right-hand side, which help you to find relative notes and bring in relative information. And in essence, it helps you to pull information that you've already written about and bring it into context for writing potentially new notes. This was really well deep dived into a video that Tiago posted on his channel that digged into how to use MEM for second brain and the benefits of using AI right inside of the chat modes. Next up is Capacities and very similar to MEM it has some artificial intelligence feature locked under premium but Capacities approaches things in a different way using object-based note-taking and many people will like this in a second brain community as it structures a way that you take your notes not only in a template but also in a refined format which helps you to come back to things. For example if you had a conversation with somebody maybe it was about a podcast you could not only save the podcast but the person and link those two together helping you to create a real life graph of your everyday interaction. And for second brain individuals or individuals that use second brain, that organized element is gonna be incredibly helpful. So capacities, really attractive PKM alternative to Notion, same look, same feel, but has some of the powerful abilities for PKM management. Next up is Workflowy. And this one again is an outliner application. So it's gonna be much more old fashioned in its look, but come with some powerful abilities. If you're looking for something even more slimmed down than Obsidian in both look and form. But another consideration if you're looking at outliner style applications. The next up is Heptabase. And I would also throw in a bonus one here, Scrintle. Both of these applications are fantastic because what they do is combine that research element in terms of digging into your notes with the ability to canvas view it. So bringing those ideas and expressing them, but also being able to link them up to documents and files that are very important to research. So a lot of students, a lot of busy professionals, a lot of researchers are finding benefit from both Heptabase and Scrintle, and they're really great for those researchers or researching elements of your note-taking. A well worth consideration if you're a visual thinker and ones who like visual note-taking application. Now, our final recommendation is Ample Notes, and it is an Evernote-like application combining your tasks, calendar, and your notes in one location. It's more of a PKM-style application, but many people are looking at it because what it does is bring together a really traditional experience. This reminds me of Evernote in 2016, but comes with some powerful abilities for bringing everything in. Many people like the fact that Ample Note has the ability to capture stuff quite well, organize it, distill it, 
but lacks the artificial intelligence features that are going to be incredibly powerful like Notion and Reflect Notes. So well worth considering if you're looking for a lower budget but also powerful note-taking application for your second brain. So those are all of the second brain apps. If you have any to recommend to us in the comments below, feel free to pop them. There's obviously loads of them and that's the power of the second brain. It's a concept that you can layer over any note-taking app and start using it from day dot. So you can find all of those linked below. And if you found this video particularly helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and share it with people in your community. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to Tool Finder, do subscribe and I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio.